comes and as he's got some people are on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now. It's four. Hello everybody, morning and welcome to day number 8, match day 8 of the FIFA World Cup Predictor Challenge. It's been a spicy game day yesterday and it has had leaderboard implications so we're not going to mess about, we're going to get straight into it. We'll start off with the groups as they stand, quickly run through those. Group A is starting to take a bit of shape with Russia and Uruguay on 6 points, Egypt and Saudi Arabia on 0 Group B, Portugal and Spain on four points, Iran on three, Morocco on nil. So that's still a little bit open for second place. Group C, France and Denmark on three points, Australia and Peru on zero. Group D, Croatia three, Iceland and Argentina on one, Nigeria on nil. The rest of the groups haven't really changed because we're back at the start of the match fixtures. So we'll not run through those. Those will have been covered from yesterday's video, so if you'd like to see that, certainly by all means check it out. But yes, we did get the three games done yesterday, and the three games that we have on offer today are Denmark versus Australia, France versus Peru, and Argentina against Croatia. Argentina are going to be looking to get off the board, aren't they, big time? So, yeah, three more matches today. We'll go into the predictions that people had for yesterday. And then run through the ones for today and then we'll take a look at the leaderboard that's where the money is <laughs> the sweet sweet cash roller so we'll go through yesterday's fixtures portugal morocco or in fact just beforehand i will just clarify that yesterday there was an issue with a prediction for the iran spain game and yes i have reviewed that and um that was an Clinical error by myself, that was put in the wrong way around. Uh, the scoreline was predicted as 4-0 Iran, but it should have been 4-0 Spain, so my apologies for that. Um, it's the first time it's happened in like about 20-odd games, so unfortunately I've lost my 100% accuracy record. But that was a correction from yesterday, so that was 4-0 to Spain for Andrew Scott instead of 4-0 Iran. But yes, Portugal-Morocco. This game finished 1-0 Portugal, your man Ronaldo getting his head on it, wasn't he? So, I predicted 2-1 Portugal, so I got two points for this. Michael Catmull, correct result, uh, sorry, correct scoreline, 1-0 Portugal, maximum points. Well done, well done. Then we have everybody else, I think. Let's have a quick check. Yep, Mark, James, Sam, Michael, Caroline, Rob, Dave, Niall and the two Andrews. All went for Portugal wins. However, the score lines they predicted were not 1 0. We had 4 0, 2 0, 2 1, 2 0, 3 0, 2 0, 3 0, 2 0, and 3 0, and 3 0. So everybody got points for that game. However, Michael took the advantage and got maximum points. So five points for you there. Well done. The second game of the day was Uruguay Saudi Arabia. And the result for this game was 1-0 Uruguay. I believe it was your man Suarez. I picked him out yesterday, Suarez and Co. He's, uh, well, you know, everyone knows what Luis Suarez is about. The guy's lethal. I predicted 4-0 for this, so I got myself two points. Michael Catmull was 3-0, getting two points. Mark Catmull, 2-0, getting two points. James Guy, 3-0. These are all for Uruguay. Getting two points. Sam Wild got 1-0 Uruguay, maximum points. Well done, son. Well done to pick that scoreline out. Michael Gillum, 2-0 Uruguay, two points. Caroline dropping points, predicting a one-all draw. It could have implications. Could have implications. Rob Henderson was 3-0 Uruguay, getting two points. Dave Neal, 2-0 Uruguay, getting two points. Niall Jenkins pulling out 1-0 Uruguay. Correct score. Five points for you. Nice, Nicely done. A nice needed little boost for you there. And Andrew and Andrew both got two points with 3-0 and 2-0 Uruguay respectively. So everybody got getting points again for that except for Caroline. Dropping points. Not what you want to be doing when you were at the top of the leaderboard. So... We'll move into the final game of the day yesterday, which was Iran-Spain. And once again, 
everybody got points for this one. However, nobody got a correct score of 1-0 Spain. I predicted 5-0 Spain, and we have the rest as follows. Michael, 4-0 Spain. Mark and James, Sam Wilde and Michael Gillum, 3-0 Spain. Caroline, 3-1 Spain. Rob, 4-0 Spain. Dave, 3-0 Spain. Niall, 2-0 Spain. And Andrew and Andrew, both on 4-0 Spain, with that correction that I mentioned previously. So everybody got two points. And from what I did see of the game and the highlights, uh, Iran were good, like good for it really. The um, well, we were unlucky with the goal. It was a bit of a scuffed goal, wasn't it? So, yeah, not ideal for them. However, Spain getting three points on the board. Now today's predictions: we have the first match is Denmark Australia. I went two one Australia for this one. So, yeah. Uh, it's funny because your scores, we put all these scores in ages ago and the way how the kind of groups are figuring out, it, you sometimes don't fancy these results. But we'll see what everybody else has went. Michael Catmull has went 2-2 two, two, draw. Mark Catmull 1-1 one, one, draw. James Guy 2-1 Denmark. Sam Wilde 1-1 one, one, draw. Michael Gillen 1-1 one, one, draw. Caroline 1-1 one, one, draw. Rob Henderson 2-2 two, two, draw. Dave Neal 2-1 Denmark. Niall Jenkins 0-0. Nil, nil. Andrew Scott, 2 1 Australia, and Andrew Walton, 3 1 Denmark. So we've got a lot of draws in there. Um, and yeah, one or two going for either way, Denmark or Australia. So again, not everybody can get points, can they? So it's going to be interesting to have an impact on the table once the full time score comes in. France and Peru is the second game of the day. And I have predicted 2 1 France. I think they're going to be too strong again for Peru. Although the last game they weren't super strong, but they got the result. It's a sign of a good team, that. Michael Catmull has went 4 1 France. Mark Catmull 3 1 France. James Guy 2 1 France. Sam Wilde and Michael Gillum also 2 0 France. If I said 2 1 for Guy, I meant 2 0. I don't know if I did, but 2 0 for Guy for France. Caroline gets 4 0 France. Rob Henderson 3 0 France. Dave Neal 2 1 France. Niall Jenkins, 2-0 France. Andrew Scott, 3-0 France. Andrew Walton, 3-0 France. So, I don't believe, no. Peru, unfancied. And no draws. Everyone has went for a France win. So, hopefully, they won't let us all down and we'll all get points off that one. But who will get maximum points? That's the question. And then the final game is Argentina against Croatia. Messi. I went 2-2 draw, which, looking off the first game, maybe it wasn't the best because they drew the first game and I went for a win. And then now I'm saying that they're going to draw for the second game and they're probably going to win. Probably. But we'll see. Michael Catmull went 4-0 Argentina. Mark Catmull going balls out with a 3-3 draw. James Guy, 2-1 Argentina. Sam Wilde, 3-1 Argentina. Michael Gillum and Caroline, 2-1 Argentina. Rob Henderson, 2-1 Croatia. Go on, Rob. Go on, son. Dave Neal, 2-0 Argentina. Niall Jenkins, 1-0 Argentina. Andrew Scott, 2-1 Argentina. Andrew Walton, 2-2 draw. Same prediction as me. So, I think Rob was the only one who went Croatia there. Uh, yep, and we've got a handful of draws and the rest for Argentina. So, will Messi be able to pull his socks up and stop missing pens and stuff? Well, only time will tell, won't it? But, we move now into the juicy part, which is the leaderboard. And there's been some movement. There's been some movement. So, let's go from the top, shall we? In first place on 35 points after yesterday's games, we have a new leader. It's Andrew Walton. Well done, Andrew. You achieved first place, basically. And I think Caroline dropping those points has helped helped in that uh, happening. Because Caroline is in second place on 34 points, so only one point in it. Michael Gillum, 33 points, third position. James Guy, 32 points, fourth place. Joint fifth is Michael Catmull and Sam Wilde on 31 points. Then we have Andrew Scott and Niall Jenkins on 30 points each. 
and then Mark Campbell, 22 points, Rob H, 20 points, and Dave, unfortunately, is still on the bottom with 18 points. Had I been playing and were active in the leaderboard, I would have had 21 points, which keeps me in between Mark and Rob. I haven't been able to break free and move up that table, or potentially up the table. Um, yeah, I'm still languishing at the bottom. But well done, Andrew, taking the lead from Caroline. Question is, can you keep it? That's that's the million dollar question, I suppose. It's uh, certainly heating up nicely in the predictor challenge. Hope you've enjoyed the content, and yeah, if you do enjoy it, feel free to leave me a like. I appreciate all of the likes. And yeah, we'll get these games out the way, see who gets what, see how the points look up, and then we shall provide an update tomorrow. Stay safe, everybody, and don't forget that football always wins. Thank <laughs> you.